foundation we're trying to raise awareness around the world um, and therefore we want to interact with people to help them to reduce their blood sugars, help them to prevent complications that are going to come about with diabetes. And you obviously are the man to talk to about um, for type 2 controlling um, those blood sugars. Um, I first heard of your work three or four years ago. I did correspond with you actually. Um, you wouldn't remember because it was, a, it was just as a as an industry patient wanting to do the, the, um, the uh, diet, which I did do. Uh, I have type 2, and I have to unfortunately say I do still have type 2, um, but the diet was extremely successful at the time. Um, and then the stresses of life, uh, we've got four children, um, the fact is my, my, my work is extremely sedentary, got all the excuses in the world, yeah. <laughs> uh, crept back into bad habits, um, and... <clears throat> You know, things haven't been as good. I'm actually on medication. Um, but I am planning, um, after speaking to you today, to do that again, that diet again. And the whole point of what we want to do with Undefeated is to help people um, to control their blood sugars by hopefully doing the, the reversal diet, but then helping them as well to maintain afterwards so almost like a mentoring program as well mm. online that sort of can yep. access people around the world um, and just trying to really coach them into a better lifestyle which will not ha have the same thing that's happened to me going back into bad ways sure. that was a short answer to <laughs> your question no, there. That, that's extremely uh, extremely illuminating um, because it just emphasizes the the most difficult thing which is the long-term maintenance of the, of the weight. The work that we published uh, just a couple of weeks ago, in fact, <coughs> online, uh, demonstrates that, yes, it is possible to prevent weight gain, but by continued support. And so those people had a lot of individual input at the time when we were moving from the low-calorie diet to normal foodstuffs, just in the sense of re-educating them on what to eat and what sort of portion size would be normal and then having advised them on that just a monthly visit was sufficient to keep the weight steady right. but uh, of course that study is now finished and those individuals are thrown back on their own resources I think they'll do better than had they been left just right from the beginning mm. but uh, putting in an ongoing structure will be really important for people mm. with uh, type 2 diabetes okay so we're thinking of trying to make it accessible on, on different levels, really. So some people would be able to do it via Skype. Maybe some, even some people are happy to do it in a group setting. Mm -hmm. um, and others maybe on a more one-to-one -one basis. Um, that's the way we're hoping to work with people. Um, so any input you can give us on, on how that might be helpful would be, would be fantastic, either today or ongoing in the future, if you're happy to. Um, that would be really helpful.